Dennis Delgadio from the Orange Couch here at the Music Zoo in Roslyn, New York, talking about lunchbox amplifiers. These three, um, it's not really a shootout we're doing, just sort of uh, talking about them and uh, what they all do and how they all sound. They all have their own unique voice. Um, an offering from EVH and two from Victory. The first one over here, let's talk about the EVH. It is, it is a 15 watt switchable down to four watts EL84 powered amplifier. It's got five preamp tubes in there, and it really does the the EVH, the Eddie Van Halen thing. Uh, just um, it really does sound like its big brother. It's got a few features on it, and most notably, well, the, the quarter power switch, which takes it down to a an, an unoffensive four watts, unoffensive to an inoffensive, unoffensive, inoffensive four watts. One of those two, and it's got a, also got a resonance knob in the back, which controls the um, the low end, how the low end reacts. And you'll see in the video clip how I, uh, I sweep through it on a low E chord and uh, you hear how that works. Um, it's single channel, it's got a foot switch which just controls the amount of gain from insane gain to ludicrous gain, I think really is the best way to describe it. Um, it sounds cool, it's, it's a great amp. <laughs> Here we've got the Victory, um, the Kraken. The Victory, the Kraken is the name of the amplifier. It is, it is a two, well, it's single channel amp, I guess. It's, no, it's a two channel amp. But again, it's a gain, it's a gain monster, but channel one is sort of a lower gain, uh, and channel two is the insane gain. It's, it's got some other features on as well. It's actually a 50 watt amplifier. It's running a pair of 6L6 power tubes. It can also run EL, EL34s. It's got five preamp tubes in there, I believe, four or five. Uh, it's got it's it's got a bunch of features. I mean, it runs from 50 watts down to two watts, like I said, and and it can run in single-ended Class A mode um, in either configuration, either in high power and low power on the back. Um, it's got a switch also on the back that's a, a base focus switch. Um, the, the effect is subtle, but it is definitely noticeable, particularly if you're going to be playing, let's say, a lot of low-tuned guitars or eight-string guitars. Um, you can, that sub or focus switch really comes in, in handy. Uh, it's also got little switches in the front for, um, well, it controls the gain. It's a foot switchable. It's got two foot switches to switch between the channels and the gain settings and whatever else. It's, it's a pretty cool amplifier, I have to say. It really is. <laughs> And over here, the third offering is also from Victory. It's called the uh, the Red Dwarf. It's a Rob Chapman signature model. Um, it is EL84 powered, um, three preamp tubes. Definitely the most, I'd say, vintage flavored of the lot. These are all definitely like, I'd say, hard rock machines or rock and roll machines. It is the simplest in terms of its layout. Just, just a, a gain, a master volume, and a contour knob. That contour knob, Sort of like a, a master tone knob, but it, it, if you crank it all the way up, it sort of scoops the mids out. 
Um, so you've got to find, it, it sort of balances how the mid-range is working, really. Uh, it's also got two switches on it, um, a bright switch and a deep switch. They're noticeable. You definitely can hear the difference when you, when you switch them off and on. Three of these amplifiers have effects loops, um, which I think is great. They're all built like tanks, which is amazing to me. And, and especially playing in a place, you know, like New York City, the size is, is so important. You can grab these amplifiers and just go anywhere. You can walk into clubs, plug into their 412 cabinets or 212 cabinets. They, a lot of these clubs in the city have that, have them available. And it, they're, they're easy. You can walk on the train with them. It's great. Great amplifiers. Um, Great sounds, enjoy the clips, and uh, peace and love.